Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use speakers in Blender. So just like we have a virtual camera, we have virtual speakers. And the cool thing about this is that if we grab a speaker, we give it a sound, we can actually have the sound become weaker the further away the camera's placed, and stronger the closer it's placed. So it kind of gives you the ability to have dynamic sound changes in an animation. That way you don't have to um, add sound in post and you can just render it directly into your um, animation so this is going to be kind of a beginner's tutorial not too long and i'll quickly show you guys how to set this up so jumping into blender 4.0 we're going to be using the default scene so let's go ahead and go shift a and right away we'll go down and add in a speaker it's already really that simple and with the speaker active here i'm just going to go g and just move it somewhere over here and I'm going to go S to scale it up a bit so we can see it well. Now how do you add audio to this speaker? Well you'll notice as soon as you have that active you're going to see this new option here for object data properties that has a little sound symbol and you can now click on that and here you can see it's going to give you an option to open up a sound file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on open and obviously you'll have to find your own audio but I have some that I'm going to use. So these are just some MP3 files. So I'm gonna click on one. One of them is an ocean sound. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open sound mono. And here you can see if I now go to frame one and I hit the space bar. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but there is now a sound of the ocean. So um, in my case, I can actually hear it, but I don't know if my speaker's picking it up, but it is playing. So what I'm gonna do is there are two ways you can make this louder. First of all, um, with the speaker selected, you can actually go here and enable the volume. So I don't think you can go higher than one. So one is the max, but if you do want to bump up the value, you can go to your scene and you can go to audio and then you have a volume switch here. So if I put this up to five and now I got a frame, whatever, and I hit the space bar. Now you guys should be able to hear that sound. Now it's a lot louder. So with that said anyway, let's go over back to our object data for our sound. And now let's look at something like the distance. So if we were to grab this and go into our camera view and we were to play, we can hear our sound because the camera is really close. But if we take this max value here and drag it down to maybe something like 0.2, now it's gonna be a lot softer. And if we grab this and we go G and Y maybe and move it further away from the camera, it's becoming a lot softer and the closer I bring it now, it's becoming louder. So if I bump this value up here, that effect is gonna be um, less noticeable. So now I can move it further away with the max sound here before I start not hearing it in the camera view. And then there's also this option here for the max distance. It's set to infinite, but you can actually click on here and type in something like 20 meters. And now if you go into the camera, you can go ahead and if I were to now move this something like 20 meters away from the camera and in camera view I can hear, I can just barely hear the sound. But now if I go and I bring it closer to the camera, now all of a sudden it's much louder. So yeah, that's the real simple thing with sound. You can go ahead, shift D to duplicate this and then what you can do is you can go ahead, create, grab another sound. So I've got one here of some birds chirping and now I've got that one there as well. And if you wanna turn either one of them off, you can. So I can grab maybe the ocean one here. I can mute it. So now I can only hear the birds chirping. And I can turn it back on. So that is how to set up speakers in Blender. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time.